I mean, 25 miles in or so. I just can't help it. It's too pretty. Oh my gosh. So, this is amazing. I'm 31 miles in. That yellow guy. I finally caught him. I've been uh, trying to catch him for like 90 minutes. Caught him for a little bit, just went to the bathroom. So he's ahead of me a little bit. But um, we should have about three, four miles left until the A station, which will be good because I'm a little low. Um, I mean, I'm still running pretty well, actually. But uh, just, I need to pick me up. I need, I need some more uh, quality food. Uh, but I'm still doing 14, 15 minute miles. Doing really good. It's getting hot. It's definitely hot. Gorgeous view, absolutely gorgeous. And uh, just smiling a lot, making a lot of friends. But uh, yeah, definitely ready for the safe station. Uh, but man, this is just—I've been smiling a lot, even though, even though I'm hurting. I mean, look at—it's just—it's just amazing. So, and I think there's a truck coming. Yep. So I'm gonna get out. Okay, keep it up. Seething. It's uh, eight hours thirty. I could see it like 20 minutes away. That was annoying. But uh made it. So I'm gonna chill out here for a while, thank goodness. And uh refuel perfectly. Eight and a half hours, that's a good good job. 35.5. Whew. About 21 minutes there. Ooh, I feel fantastic. I ate like for 20 minutes straight. Um, I got lucky. I feel a little bad. I kind of got all the last water there a little bit. They gotta wait for a bit. <laughs> um, but I'm all filled up. Got tailwind. They had no more Mountain Dew. Um, but I ate a lot of bacon. Ate a ton of. Uh, Peanut butter, and, peanut butter and jelly. I had like an omelet. I had um, a bunch of grapes. Um, drank a bunch of water during that. And I filled myself up. I'm completely full. Next st station is 21 miles away. Um, I think 2021. 20, so I'll see my parents there. It's um, about 3.30. About 4 o'clock. It's going to start to... <clears throat> heat of the day is done. It's still a little hot, but um, it's going to start getting cooler, which will be nice. For a little bit, it's going to get cold, which I hate, but um, kind of the first day is winding down here. feel fantastic. This is going to be good. This next section is not too technical, pretty straightforward. So now that I'm feeling really good, and I I even took some uh, PB&Js, and I took some bunch of potato chips, put them on my pockets here, so I think I am a uh, all set, I hope. Um, so, yeah, this is nuts. But uh, keep it up, man. Time to run. Let's do it. Great view. Um, I'm kind of hurting a little bit. Uh, it's about 40 minutes past the aid station, so we're looking at like two and a half miles up. What, like 38? Um, I don't know having some stomach issues um, but I'm still running a bit starting to cool down a little bit um, but uh, yeah a little low I mean not really too low but just some stabbing pains but uh, I still feel pretty mentally fit just uh, yeah it's a long way to the next aid station but it's okay you're doing good um, so Slowly but surely, um, just jamming out to some music and trying to stay in my zone. So, yep, jump man, keep it up. I'm 
about two hours past the aid station. Um, I don't know. Probably have about 12, 12 and a half miles left till next aid station. Um, had a few lows there, but um, the last 20, 30 minutes have been just running straight, so I'm, I'm making really good time. Uh, stomach's still a little bit, but I had a PB and J. I thank goodness I brought one. So got one more. I got some potato chips. I've got some gels and stuff. Probably got another. I don't know. Three, three hours, three and a half till the next aid station. Um, but legs are okay. Um, uh, it's getting nice and cool, low, you know, nice, it's like 55, 60, 55, 60. A little windy, but the dust isn't a big deal. There's nothing, no, no dust. Um, been running with these guys up here for a bit now. So, yeah, I'm, I'm running every section I can. It's really good. Um, it's gonna get cold here in a second. And, uh, yeah, but uh, body's holding up pretty good. Now thinking of, uh, Anything else but just each aid station. Just looking at, get to the aid station, chill out for a little bit, go to the next aid station. That's all it is. Not looking uh, any farther than that. So, um, yeah, I'm getting, uh, this is uh, quite the adventure. So, Alright, keep it up. End of day one. Doing pretty good. Doing a lot of running. Probably got about eight, eight and a half miles left. Been all uphill, but I've been banging out the shuffle like 15, 16 minute miles. So, I can really get time. So, 11 and a half hours in. Doing, I'm gonna do a 12, 30, 50 mile, which is really good for me. So, keep it up, Matt. Um, put the warm clothes on. It's not too cold yet, but just getting ready because the lights are going to come out pretty soon. Um, 12 hours, 7 minutes in. I think I'm about 50. No, not 50 yet. I'm like a 47, I think. I don't know. But uh, day one complete. Feeling great. I had a little burst of energy there. I did like a 9 minute pace for like 6 minutes, 7 minutes. So, wow. This isn't going to do it, but the sunset's just gorgeous. Man. So the heat was the problem uh, today. Now it's into the cold and th into the dark as the next challenge. So bring it on. And I know I'll look back on this and be like, dude, you didn't know what you were looking in for for the night, but I don't know. It's so nice. Oh my gosh, I mean, look at that. That's so cool. So man, this has been a blast. Good job. Keep it off. You're doing awesome. Oh, I got about. <coughs> Two and a half, three miles left until the uh, aid station. Making good time. I just ran about two and a half, three miles uh, pretty pretty well, like a 17, 18 minute pace with this nice girl, uh, lady. Um, we had a good thing going. We like just kind of ran together and told stories and got really, uh, really close. I had to go to the bathroom, so she kept going on, but uh, really made the time go by. And she told me a great trick. Um, so I'm having trouble finding the markers. But what I'm doing is, I'm seeing all the prints of all the runners. You can see them on the, uh, so if there's a bunch of running tracks, you know you're going the right way. And that makes it a lot easier. Um, I'm still making great time. I'm going to do about 14, get there like 14.30 or 14.20 or so, um, which is about where I wanted to be. Um, legs are good. I need some more fuel, but I'm feeling great. Um, everything's good. I need, I've got a little blister forming. On my right pinky a little bit. I'll get that looked at. I'm gonna change socks. I'm gonna see Eric and he's gonna help me the next 30 miles. And I'll see my parents. Um, great first day, great weather. It's like 55 degrees and like no wind. This is perfect. Great running weather. This is an easy, easy runnable trail right here. It's a huge, huge thing. No moon at all. There's no moon here, but you can't see him but the stars, you can see them pretty well. Um, it's so cool. So, um, yeah, I got about, what am I at? Like 13, 48, uh, 13 hours, 48 minutes in. I think about 40 minutes, 30, 30, 40 minutes left to that aid station. And uh, yeah, this is uh, so cool. I'm making a lot of friends and I'm about to jam out to some music here and uh, 
enjoy the uh, the darkness here for a second. So, all right, man. I, I did a 13 hour 50, basically, which is really good, especially for what distance I'm looking. I hope I didn't push it too quick, but it's just so runnable. I'm just running so well. So, anyways, keep at it, man. You're doing great. I, I am uh, back from the dead. iPhone died. So, made it to mile 55. Basically, Eric came in. Um, got very cold. Legs were mush. Um, every, the last 30 miles were just a steady uphill. And my legs were just absolute mush. Um, we did it 30 miles in about 12 hours. Oh, actually, so let me look back. We did the first section, 13.5, just walking the whole time, just power hiking. It was cold. Um, wasn't too bad, but like, just in the dark, just working on things. Uh, I was exhausted, super exhausted. So, I wasn't planning on it, but ended up feeling like I should take an hour and a half nap. So I went down and uh, tried that. Didn't really sleep, but I did feel a little better afterwards. Pounded a lot of food down. Then we went on, we had, our next section was about 15.5 miles. It took us about five hours. Again, just slow, you know, 22, 21, 22 minute pace. Again, that's, that's fine, that's good enough. Um, I didn't have any fuel. I didn't uh, pack real, I didn't pack real food. I should have, uh, it was just a mistake. I had gels and cliff bars and I just can't do that for five hours. Um, so I walked in there just depleted as heck, like. Um, so I sat there, I ate pancakes, I had a bunch of eggs. I just ate so much food. It's been about 40 minutes there. Um, it's still cold. You know, it's chilly. It's windy. It's like 11 o'clock, right? Something like that. I'm um, 28 hours, 19 minutes in. At what, mile like 87, 88? Next section is 19 miles. And um, it's tough. It's steep ups. And uh, I go up uh, to a mountain. I think I go up to like 10,000. So it's gonna get colder up there. I plan on doing a good two and a half hour nap up there. Um, it's gonna make it there. I'm hoping to get some running in um, now that's day. But uh, this has been a very brutal. I've had a lot of lows, very lows. Eric helped a lot. Really cool. We just walked the whole thing really. But we power hiked. I mean, he pushed me a little bit. It was good. My legs are just nothing there. 
it's been all uphill and my quads have nothing left. Um, so, but if I did the math, as long as I keep moving forward like this, 20 minute pace, 3 miles an hour, I should finish in like 105, 106 hours, which is 6 hours under the cutoff. So, I'm going to get some running in, but as long as I keep doing what I'm doing, I got this. So, anyways, man, now you're by yourself here. I'll see Mom at the next station, 103, so um, this will, here we go, man. Keep it up. You're doing awesome. This has been kind of interesting to watch. I'm like, I don't know, 90, 90 in. Um, I'm starting to like fall asleep, kind of. Um, I thought it would be colder. Everyone told me it'd be colder. It's freaking 75 degrees. I have a jacket, long sleeve, and a short sleeve, and sweatpants on. And I have nowhere like to put it all because my back is full. I'm just trying to, and I didn't put on sunscreen because I didn't think I needed it because everyone told me it'd be cold. I'm just a little bit frustrated. I, my uh, stomach's still good. I got some good food. Um, still busting out. 20 minute pace. I'm doing a little running. I did an 18. Really, this is good. Um, but uh, I probably got another five hours, 15 minutes until I reach the Shea Mountain. I'm doing like a two and a half hour sleep. But that's the whole key to the day. Um, this is just a Hey, dude, I mean, this is like why I signed up for it. How much suffering can I take? So, I'm not here by myself, of course. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm in about as much pain as you'd expect me to be. Nothing crazy, nothing life changing, nothing uh, race ending. But mentally, I'm in a dark place. I've been in a dark place for a long time now. So, Sucks. But uh, yeah, keep going. Aid station, aid station. I just want to get to a point where I can look ahead and be like, the finish is closed. I just can't think that. It's like, uh, just whatever. I just, whatever. Keep it up, man. You got it. All right, let's go. Nine miles to the aid station. Uh, I'm still doing fine. So that's mile 94. 30 hours, 40 minutes in. Should be like 34 and a half. Um, decent hundred for me. Uh, it's one three actually. I'm starting to. I wouldn't say hallucinate, but just I don't know, my mind like it's playing tricks on me, you know. Just trying to hang tough. Maybe three and a half or so. Yeah, until I get some sleep, maybe try and get some sleep, but it's hot. I'm tired. I'm trying to stay positive. Eating is good. Dad yeah, maybe this tortilla thing. With the peanut butter and honey. Yes sir. And it was like pretty good. Quality. And I mean, check out the view still. You know, can't get enough of that. Try not to let it be easy. But yeah, I'm a little bit out of it. I don't know why. It's like not like I did a long run or anything. So, eight station eight station, that's all I'm doing. I haven't looked up, don't look up. Just keep going to each aid station. All right, bud, you got it. Spent 30 minutes of this kind of stuff. I don't know if you can see it. It's terrible. Oh, I think I'm at like 96. I really don't know though. Keep it up. It is absolutely soul wrenching. The last 
three and a half, four miles. Just steep, steep up. Rocks everywhere. 40 minute pace and I'm busting my butt. My legs can't take anymore. And to make it worse, I'm legit starting to hallucinate. Like I'm looking at rocks way ahead and it looks like a tent. And I'm like, that's the aid station. No, it's not. I swear to you, I heard cheering. I'm like, oh my gosh, aid station listening. It's not there. There's no cheering. This is the most frustrating thing. Oh my gosh, I guess it's just I want. I don't know how much longer to the east station, but I'm doing so, such slow miles. I got a long time to go. It might take me eight hours to 19 miles. It's like, especially like the last like eight. It's just been, oh my gosh. This isn't even that bad. I can do this. But I haven't seen another human being since I left five hours ago. Not a single person in front of me and behind me. Oh, man. So, I just need to get there, take a nice nap, and the next section is not this bad. So I gotta hang tough. I'm not gonna give up. Look, I still hate this stuff, right? But that helps a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, but not a whole lot though. Keep climbing. Well, I finished the mountain. And now, there was like a good three mile section that was like a road I banged out and now I've got more uphill on this road. At least it's not technical. I should be near the aid station. I, uh, I'm in a really bad place, really low. I already had my quitting speech figured out. I can't do that. I lost a lot of time here. But I know that the next spots aren't as hard as that one. I'm gonna get it to sleep. I'm gonna be really close to the cutoff and I have to get sleep. I'm gonna be losing it. It's bad. Um, I didn't work this hard just to, I just, if I have time, I'm gonna do it. I have to do it. And I've been working hard, man. So, for the senior, of course. This is not, this is ridiculous. But you, I can do this. Okay, I can do this. Let's go, what do you got? good. Just got three and a half hours of sleep. I uh, did a lot better than I thought. Um, uh, yeah, it's freezing cold, but I'm like 104 in, going downhill. Thank God the uphills are done for a little bit. So, making up some time here, and uh, new man for great. Keep it up. I'm going to charge it up again. I just did 18 minutes, 18 miles. I'm 121 right now. Um, great times. I did 17.30 average. Um, it's about 4.45 a.m. It's a little chilly, but uh, feeling great. Stop for 30 minutes. Um, yeah, this next one's 13.8. Um, but uh, feeling good, running a lot, and uh, being happy. So ready for the sun to come out. All right. This has been really annoying. Um, I'm on a road, last five miles. It's like too hard to run on, like it hurts my feet. So I'm just power hiking it. But like it's like pitch black, it's just literally a straight road. So like when it was, when it was pitch black, I couldn't see a thing. It was just 
my headlamp. And like, but it was just so boring. I'm getting exhausted. But the night is over now. And I get a little bit of a sunset action. So day or night two complete. 48 hours in. 125 miles. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm over halfway. All right, what, uh, 134 in. It's the second day now. So um, yeah, it's uh, last 14 around this silly road. I can't run this. It's it's the pavement kills me. Uh, just like everyone else, everyone else is walking. So and then it's, uh, this next section is another 13, 14 mile all on road. At least it's not technical. So and it's road, so I can just power hike it and get a good 80 minute pace. And I do gain time that way. It's just. You're I'm awesome. Looking good. <laughs> we'll we'll this, see. It's hard. I can't run on this. Two. That's okay. You're so, doing really great. You're making. Like, 18, like it's just this. I've, I've walked the whole way. That's okay. You're making great time. I know. It's just frustrating. Yeah, that's okay. It's too hard. It's like the service has no give. Yeah. yeah. I can. Can you so. go along it? Walk along it? What do you mean? No, there's, it's slanted. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. That's okay. Well, Hang in there. I'll see you in like 45, 50 minutes or so. Yep. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> All right. How you doing, Matt? I'm good. I uh, just finished a 13 mile little walk. Um, what were you going to just tell me something yeah, about? A little like it was a. Uh, Two hours at night was just all darkness and it was just a straightaway and like you just never got any, you didn't know where, what things were so you just kept walking and it was really draining actually. And then the light came out which made it a little warmer because it was like, it felt really, really cold. And then this is really hard to run on. And, and I don't know. Okay. So. Thanks. Uh, I just finished that last section, so I'm at 135 miles. Um, it's all on the road. Um, last 14 miles, it was frigid. It's, I started like 4:30 in the morning from that section. It was probably like 15 degrees. It was, oh, it's cold, and uh, the road sucks because it's just just hard enough surface you can't run it. Like no one's running it, you can't, and even though it's flat, you just can't. So you just power hike it, but it has a four hour half marathon basically just walking. And then in this next section is the same thing. Um, just power hike it. I'll still make up some time, um, but it's just annoying. So I'm just trying to just imagine some music, look at the scenery. Um, I'm gonna take a nap here at this next section, even though it's the day because the next section after that is the hardest in the course, apparently. So 17 miles and it's like something like 6,000 feet up or something, something crazy. So I got mentally prepared for that. And I haven't, uh, I don't know, I'm getting a little tired, but still pretty focused, but definitely need a little bit of sleep. So I think I'm still on pace. Maybe if all goes well, I'm still killing it. I'm already over halfway right now. And once I complete this next section, that's 150 done. So, it's crazy. Oh man, I didn't know if I'd make it this far. But, I'm not looking to finish still. Just each aid station, it's still far away. So, I can't look at this, just, it's just, each aid station you get to, that's it. Literally, that's all I think about, so. All right, here we go. I mean, I probably got like an hour, 
hour and 50, hour 60, <laughs> two hours to the station. I am like falling asleep on the trail. Um, I was up with those guys, but I can't. I was having trouble holding the 16 minute fast walk. Slowly started doing 18. Now I'm just doing about a 21. Um, just got it. I just ate a big thing of peanut butter and jelly. Um, yeah, I just need to sleep, but I'm gonna try and push it. This is the last good section here. I can try and bank some time before it really, really gets hard. So I just gotta get my self together here. Um, yeah, but uh, it's what you pay for, right? Man, this is sleep deprivation thing is a whole different beast. It's like I want to go fast, but it's like, oh my gosh. All right, dude, remember this feeling, because this sucks. Oh, look, like, oh man, I got probably, what, like two miles left until the aid station. Oh, this is legit, man, like, first off, this is the uh, mountain I'm, I'm heading towards, and I'm gonna climb up top. That's the next station, so not yet, but a little terrifying. Um, gosh, every single step is like heavy. I'm like falling asleep. Like as I uh, walk, it's like, oh my gosh, it's so difficult just to hold three miles an hour. I'm trying to hold myself to it. Um, I don't know how this always happens, but I like, lost a few days. I can literally see like 30 minutes behind me. No one's there. And no one's 30 minutes ahead of me. So, like at least. So, like somehow I always get completely wrong. But, uh, yeah. Whatever. Um, yeah, I need some sleep. Um, yeah. What are you doing? Is this is. Oh, man. Alright, well. This is uh, interesting. <laughs> oh, man. All right, man. Doing a good job. Keep it up. Yeah, I got some good sleep. I got three hours at that last aid station. Woke up feeling a little better. Um, got a lot of food in me there. And I met a dude, Randy. And we, uh, it's all uphill, it's pretty steep. So we've just been power hiking it. We went for about three hours. It's pitch black now. Um, and then he slowly started to get ahead and he just kind of went off on his own. That was about an hour and a half ago. So I've been. I'm just chilling out here. Um, feel really good. The pace is slowing. I was doing 25s, 20, 22s, 23s, but it's getting a little more technical. So now it's like 25, 27 per mile. But I got like four miles left, and uh, this section was not as bad as I thought. Honestly, I was thinking it would take like eight and a half hours. It's going to take about 6:45, 7. Uh, so. That's good. I'm just trying to mentally prepare. The next section is the worst of the race. Huge ups, huge downs. You have 10,000, 9, 9 10,000 the whole time. Um, so, but once I finish that section, I'll be 185 done. Um, and the rest of the whole, the rest of the race, 50 miles, is all literally downhill. So, um, but yeah, I've been uh, doing good, doing really well. So, continuing to eat and. Uh, 
it's not as cold yet, but it's, it's getting colder as I climb. Um, but it's been a blast, so good job, man. Well, yeah. What are you at, like 165? I don't know. But yeah, Randy was a blast. That was good. To, we got real deep and just talking, talking and made the uh, hours go by much faster. So I'm in a good place. So, all right, man, keep it up. You're doing a good job. I'm taking a quick five minute break. I'm like, what? Three hours into this section? Oh, it's brutal. Steep ups, steep downs, but it's super technical and you're bushwhacking. Um, rocks everywhere. It's not really a trail, so you're doing 40 minute miles. Just trying to just, oh gosh. There's this section, 17 miles. There's a few like random spots so you can you can get up to like a 25 minute mile, but I'm push it. But this is gonna take me nine hours or so. Well, about three hours in, so six more to go on this section. But it's frustrating. And it's cold, so I gotta keep taking my gloves off, put the poles, and get the food. And there's nowhere to. S this is the first place I finally found to sit because it's always slanted. What do you want, like 175 in? Something like that. This is the hardest part of the course, so just gotta keep going. Oh man. This is the toughest part for sure. It's my like fourth fall. Um, this, the hills are so steep and you fall backwards. Um, I'm crawling hand and foot. <laughs> Um, my elbow is pretty banged up from just landing and I hit my head. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to take a little break here. I'm starting to come up soon, which is happy. One foot in front of the other, you're doing good. But, um, this is brutal. This is brutal, brutal. Um, yeah, dude. I want to quit every second. Hmm. I'm hoping someone comes in, maybe we can hang out. Because uh, I still got what? Maybe four and a half hours here to an aid station, depending on my pace and the way this is going. I don't know, probably not. Maybe five. But uh, I don't know. What are we, like 170? I don't even know where we are. <laughs> you got to finish this, man. You're so close. All right. All right. Yep. Good job, kid. Just, you got this, all right? Let's go. <sighs> Night three, done. I wanted to go. saw the cars, and I went in, and now it's been 50 minutes, and I still haven't found the aid station. I'm on track. It's just, I've been climbing. This is going to be over a 10 hour section. Oh man. I desperately need food. I desperately need to sleep. I need to find this place, and I'm like, I'm in absolute anguish. I need to find it. But, uh, like, I really want to quit. I know it's all just food and sleep, but oh, this is terrible. 
I know that the finish line will make it worth it, but it's so tempting. It's so tempting. But you can't do it. You, you're still 10 hours off the cutoff. Just leave. You get back up. You got it. Okay? Toughest part of the race is over almost. And then you're gonna just do 50 miles downhill. Alright? Alright, buddy. Good luck. From the dead. Um, it's about three hours sleep. <clears throat> ate a bunch of food. Left at four o'clock. 185 miles in. Next section is 20 miles. Most of it's downhill. A little quick uphill here. Should get there about midnight. 11 o'clock midnight. Um, maybe. Um, and then uh, go from there. This is my last night, full night. So keep going. Um, last section is miserable. This I should be killing it. So I'm excited. Here we go. Feeling great, killing it. I'm running really hard. Every little thing I do never seems enough for you. You don't want to lose it again. But I am not like them. Baby, when you finally get to love somebody, guess what? It's going to be me. Woo! 190 in. Some uh, moose boards here. Moose? What are you talking about, dude? It's a freaking cow. I wonder if they're dangerous. Hey, buddy. Welcome. How's it going, man? You good? Are oh, you good, man? I'm, I'm cool. Where's your buddy? Right there, right? We good? How's it going? You be running together? Let's go together, man. All right, have a good one, man. Good job. Good morning. Here we are. me right now? Like this scenery? Like, are you serious? I mean, it's just amazing. Get ready for my last night. Here we do it, man. Let's do it. 194 in or so. Nice.
that section was good. Uh, 20 miles, finished those. So 204 miles in. Um, the next section, 16.5 miles. Again, mostly downhill. Uh, my knees are hurting a bit. I think I got too excited there and I was running it's a little too quick. Uh, the eccentrics are killing me. Um, but uh, just gotta keep fast walking it and uh, slow running as much as I can. So, but I uh, feel good. This is my last night. So, I'm gonna reminisce of all the nights I've been here. I feel like I've been here forever. But, um, yeah, what a, uh, what a day. What a freaking day. I'm 216 in. I just left the last aid station. Um, I got a two hour nap. Oh, that, was, that was a tough last section. I got lost. I kept, uh, I had another mile and a half, two miles. Um, nine hours took this, should not have taken that long. But we were like mountain climbing almost. It was like dip rocks and oh, it was brutal. And this section isn't very easy as well, so. Um, I'm feeling okay. It's, it's hard to grasp when I'm finishing this, so. I'm just going to try and enjoy it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to stay Keep it up. I've been pushing it really hard. I did the first 9.3 here in like a 16 minute pace. And it was like in trails and that kind of thing. I was really, really well. And then right after that little aid station, which was uh, just water, it's been, look, it's been freaking just like straight up, like rocks, very like, it's hard to see if it's a trail or not. It's hard to push yourself there and it's just huge step ups on all the uneven pavement. But I'm making progress. I'm gonna take a quick break here. Um, this is mile like two, I don't even know. Um, it's gorgeous here. Just trying to put that out too hard and just like check out the uh, scenery a bit. So, yeah, dude, keep it up. About a mile away, and I, I, I did it. I'm on the road. Um, finally, I can. I did it. Um,
Uh, it's like, oh, the best high I've ever felt. I don't know how I did this. Five days.